The future of Manchester United is bright, but their present is not looking that amazing. Currently, they are six in the Premier League. They don't have that great chance of finishing in the top four this season. They do have zero goal difference and this needs to change. We need to bring back Manchester United to the top of the world. That's why we're starting a new career mode series on this YouTube channel. We're gonna take over Manchester United and try to bring them to the top of the world by winning the Champions League and of course the Premier League but this career mode series is gonna be a little bit tricky we do have only two seasons to win either the Premier League or the Champions League otherwise we're gonna be fired and we definitely don't want to witness that so if you enjoyed this Manchester United career mode leave a like subscribe to my YouTube channel can we achieve 300 likes on the first episode this is gonna be incredible but now let's dive into it we're gonna play this career mode on ultimate difficulty and for the first season we receive over 200 million to improve that squad and now here it's coming your part of this career mode series give me in the comments your suggestions about players that you want to see at manchester united and next episode we're gonna discuss all of them looking into this manchester united squad we need to replace a lot of these players very soon if we want to win either the premier league or the champions league in the next two seasons it's gonna be difficult but for that we do have 200 million and of course i do have your support before we start signing some of the players we're gonna put all of these players on the transfer list we just don't need all of them man. and i'm gonna be pretty happy if we manage to sell every single one of these a player including scott mctominy his market value is 12.5 million so if we can manage to get around 15 million for scott mctominy this is gonna be incredible deal we also need to choose a tactical vision and i think wing play is gonna suit our playing style really really well we do have some great wingers in alejandro garnacho and marcus rashford so we're gonna try with that but if you have a better suggestion leave it down in the comment we also need to decide what to do with anthony he's 79 overall does he have a lot of potential yet? I'm not 100% sure. Tell me also in the comments, do you want for me to keep Anthony or do you prefer for me to sell him? We received so many offers straight away for our players and we starting to sell them straight away. One Visaka went for over 25 million. Christian Eriksen nearly 20 million, man. Wow, and now the craziest thing happened. Spurs gave us 16.5 million for Harry Maguire. He left Manchester United finally and I'm super happy about it. After that, we sold also Malasia to West Ham for 17 million. Victor Lindelof also left us for 16 million. We're selling a lot of our defenders, so we definitely gonna start signing some defenders after that. But look at it, we also sold Anthony Martial for 13.2 million to Brentford and on top of that we sold Scott the Gold McTominay for 13.6 million. I think we got some nice money for our players and look at our budget right now over 340 million so now we can buy whoever we want but please don't give me the suggestions of signing Kylian Mbappe because for now we're not gonna sign him. Here are some of the players that I really want to see at Man Manchester United. The first one is Jeremy Frimpong. He's 84 overall. He's gonna improve our defense massively and he's not that expensive to be honest with you. Only 48.5 million is his market value. The next one is Nuno Mendes and I'm thinking about signing him straight away. He's 82 overall, only 21 years of age and his market value is only 37 million, man. Let's go for him. Let's make Nuno Mendes our first signing for this career mode how much should we actually offer Paris Saint-Germain let's try with 40 million Ooh, they want 54 and 10 percent seven close no come on Wiss Enrique give us Nuno Mench for 50 million this is gonna be great 
Ooh, 51.7. Yeah, I'm gonna accept that. Let's now try to negotiate a contract with Nunu Mensch and make him officially our first signing for this career mode. What do you reckon, guys? Do you think that we're gonna win either the Premier League or the Champions League in the next two seasons? I really hope because otherwise we're gonna get fired and I really, really don't want to see that. And there he is. Nunu Mendes is our first player. He's gonna be the replacement of Luke Shaw and what a replacement this guy is going to be. He's gonna shine for Manchester United and I'm super excited to use him already in the first game versus Wolves. Definitely gonna try to sign some attacking midfielders. We do have a lot of defensive minded players in Casimiro, Kobe Maino, also Amrabat is still there. Maybe we need to use more Mason amount, but we definitely need to sign a creative player next to Bruno Fernandes. Wow, we received an offer for Anthony, which is worth only 27 million. Wow, this is so cheap, man. I'm definitely not gonna accept it. But look at it. He does have a release clause of 44.4 million. So we either need to renew his contract or we need to sell him because otherwise someone will pay his release clause. And look what also happened. Manchester City wants to sign Marcus Rashford for only 43.2 million. Are they out of their minds? Of course we're not gonna accept that. We're rejecting that straight away. Marcus Rashford, at least for now, is not for sale. And now it's time for the first game of the Premier League season. It's gonna be versus Wolves and I'm really excited to see how this team is gonna perform. Come on boys, we should destroy Wolves in my opinion, especially with the players that we do have. So let's find out what's gonna happen. Oh, nice here, Rasmus Hoyland. Oh, brilliant one. Nice to Garnacho. Come on, Alejandro Garnacho. Show me what you can do, Garnacho. Oh, oh, Rasmus, hold on, clear. what an interception. Come on, Rasmus, to Bruno, Bruno! A little bit lucky, but we're taking that straight away. Bruno Fernandes with the first goal of this Manchester United career mode. Let's just look it one more time, but I think it was a lucky deflection. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, what a brilliant start of this game. Come on, Nuno Mensch, this is your debut as a Manchester United player. Wow, nice one here. Ooh, ooh Nuno Mensch left his zone right now. Come on, Rafa Varane, cover him, cover him, Rafa Varane. Ooh. Oh, this is not looking great, guys. This is definitely not looking great. Ooh, they hit the post. This was really lucky from our side that we didn't concede yet. Nice, nice. Diogo Dalot. What a tackle. Come on, can we now organize a dangerous counter-attack? Maybe we can here. Oh, give it to Garnacho. Is he on? Oh, I think Garnacho is on side. Come on, Alejandro Garnacho. Come on, Garnacho. You cannot miss that. Garnacho! You cannot miss that. War a counter attack. And now we're leading 2 0 versus Wolves at Old Trafford. Oh, what a beginning. I know it's only Wolves, but we're really strong defensively and we're scoring our chances, which is the most important thing. If you enjoy so far this Manchester United career mode, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, don't forget to give your suggestions about players you want to see at Manchester United in the comments down below. For the beginning of the second half, we replaced Kobe Mino with Mason Mount. I really want to see how this is going to turn, but let's see. Ooh, ooh. Come on, come on, Mason Mount. Nice. Rasmus, Rasmus. Rasmus Hoyland and first assist for Mason Mount. What an immediate impact from Mason Mount. He was, I don't think that he was in the game for more than five minutes and he's already giving some nice assists here. What a ball roll from Mason Mount and the finish from Rasmus Hoyland was one of a kind. Oh, Nuno Mensch here got beaten. Come on, Nuno Mensch, cover, cover. Come on, Nuno Mensch. Oh, Nuno Mensch here got beaten. Ooh, are they gonna score here? Nice. What a recovery from Nunu Mensch. That's why we paid over 50 million for you, my friend. Can we now again organize dangerous counter? Ooh, I think Rashford is here. True on go. Yes, he is. Marcus Rashford, true on go. Marcus Rashford. <laughs> How you missed that? How you missed that, Marcus Rashford? You were one on one versus the goalkeeper. Come on, man. You are better than that. Yes, there you go. 3 0 win versus Wolves. What a big beginning of the Premier League season. Three goals scored at Ultra for clean sheet. Everything is looking really, really nice. But is it gonna remain like that? 
I highly doubt. Look what type of offer we receive straight after the Wolves game. Juventus are offering us 53 million plus Moise Keane for Bruno Fernandes. Are they out of their mind? Of course, we're not gonna accept that. Now, this is the game for the first episode. The away game versus Spurs and their squad. It's gonna be difficult, but I do have a good feeling about this game, especially with our boys. So let's see how are we gonna perform versus Spurs at their stadium. Come on, boys. We are gonna win it for sure. Oh, Madison right now. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, Richarlison here, no! Nice, Nunu Mensch. That's why we paid so much money for you, man. So far, Nunu Mensch is incredible for Manchester United here. Oh, Rasmus Hoyland here with a lot of free space. Come on, Rasmus, to Rashford, to Marcus. No, what a bad pass. Ah, man, this should have been 1-0 for us. What a bad pass from Rasmus Hoyland. Huge chance here for Spurs, Madison. Ah, we missed the tackle. And of course, Madison is going to take advantage of it. Poor defending this time for our team versus them, man. And now Spurs are leading in that game. And we were actually the better team so far. But hey, not always the better team wins, right? Oh, what a nice interception from Kobe Mino. Come on, Kobe Mino. To Rashford, to Rashford, Marcus Rashford, Marcus Rashford! What an interception from Kobe Mino. And he's giving the first assist to Marcus Rashford. What a moment for us. Come on, boys. We were the better team so far, and we deserve that goal in that stadium. Marcus Rashford. What a goal! Can we turn this game completely? What a ball here. What about to Richarlison? Oh, he's dangerous. Nice. Lisandro Martinez. What a tackle. But they still do have the ball. But it's Rafa Varane, man. He's the World Cup champion. He won the Champions League multiple times. Of course, he's gonna stop Richarlison. What a ball again from Kobe Mino to Alejandro Garnacho. Garnacho here. Garnacho with so much free space. Garnacho! Come on, come on! Come on, Rasmus Hoywan. How can you miss that, man? What a crucial miss. Wow, but actually, Harry Maguire is their captain and he saved them. Wow, Harry Maguire, the GOAT, really? This is dangerous. Humming's on here. We should not let him get the ball. Oh, no, no, no. Two players versus Son and he passed us. But Lisandro Martinez, what a tackle here. Come on, boys. Can we score in the last minutes of that game? This is going to be awesome here. Oh, give it to Garnacho. Rasmus Hoyland is really not great in the passing area. Oh, we need to defend right now. Imagine if we can see it in the last minute of that game. This is going to be awful. No, we didn't. We didn't. So draw at Spurs. It's not that bad in my opinion, but we were far away the better team in that game and we deserve to win it in my opinion. But hey, 1-1, it's also not that bad. After two games, we're fourth with two points less than the first Manchester City. West Ham are second with six points, which is a little bit weird. But so far, it's not looking that bad. We still do have 300 million to improve this squad. So tell me in the comments which players you want to see at Manchester United. But this is going to be the end of the first episode. I really hope you enjoyed. Of course, if so, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'm going to catch you later. Previously on the Manchester United career mode, we sold Harry the Goat Maguire and we suffered of that decision. Then we signed Nuno Mench as our new left back and we destroyed Wolves 3-0 after that. But we drew 1-1 versus Spurs and after two games, we're fourth with two points less than the first Manchester City and West Ham. But in the last episode, I asked you what players you want to see at Manchester United. And here is the list of all of the players that you suggested to me. And some of them are really, really nice suggestions, especially Frankie de Jong. So many of you suggested me Frankie de Jong and it just feel right for me to go for him. We need a new midfielder next to Bruno Fernandes. And I think Frankie de Jong is going to be our guy. He does have a release clause of 180. 87 million but i think we can get him for around 100 million from barcelona so let's see come on xavi what are you gonna say 100 million are you gonna be down on it oh ooh, 106.2 okay not that bad let's just try 101 maybe why the hell not 
come on, they don't want to reduce a little bit his value. All right, let's accept it, man. Frankie De Jong is going to be our new player. And what a player we're bringing to the beginning of the second episode of this Manchester United career mode. If you enjoyed, of course, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And now let's see which other player we can sign to Manchester United. Now we do have 185 million still left to spend and we need to sort some of our problems especially in the defense now we're gonna replace Casemiro with Frankie de Jong and our midfield is looking really really solid in my opinion yes Kobe Manu is only 69 overall but this guy does have so much potential we're gonna develop him into one of the best midfielders that have ever played for Manchester United Bruno Fernandes Frankie de Jong they're awesome we do have Casemiro who is gonna come off the bench in our attacking positions, I still don't know what to do with Anthony. If a good offer comes for him, maybe we're gonna accept it. You suggested so many times Michael Ulisse. And I'm not 100% sure if I should go for him. We do have Alejandro Garnacho. We do have Marcus Rashford. Do we actually need Michael Ulisse? But if we sell Anthony, we're going for Michael Ulisse. Now let's talk about our defense. We do have Nuno Mench as our new starting left back. Luke Shaw is his backup. But in the center back position, we do have only Lisandro Martinez and Rafa Varan, and their backup is only Johnny Evans, man. And this needs to change. We need to sign probably even two new center backs. And in the right back position, we do have Diogo Dalot, and that's it. So are we gonna sign a new right back maybe or maybe we're gonna wait until january but you suggest me some incredible center backs the first one is to debo we still don't know his overall but i think he's gonna be close to 80 maybe then you suggest me this guy from everton Jared brand white and i'm thinking about actually signing him man i think he's gonna be an amazing backup for manchester united also Schlotterbeck, but is Schlotterbeck gonna be a backup of Rafa Varane? I think he's gonna replace him if we sign him. So I have no idea. And the other one is Antonio Silva, the guy that I really, really want to see at Manchester United. His market value is 30 million. He does even have a release clause of 66 million if they don't want to sell him to us. But are we gonna go for Antonio Silva? No one suggested him, so maybe we won't go for him. So that's why we're gonna go for Tudibo. There were some rumors about Manchester United signing Tudibo. So let's make it a reality and bring this guy to Manchester United. Now the question is how much should we offer for Tudibo? And think about maybe 25 million as a starting price. So let's see what Nice are gonna say about that. Oh, they, what? They want Mason Mount plus 12 million? Are they out of their mind? I can offer them. 30 million which is a little bit too much in my opinion for Tudibo 35 million and 10% sell on close wow are you out of your mind we're not gonna give you that much for Tudibo who is gonna be the backup of Rafa Varane let's try 32 million okay 32 million is working perfectly for Nice Tudibo is 80 overall and I think he's gonna be a good backup of either Rafa Varane or Lisandro Martinez so let's see how are we gonna perform versus Nottingham Forest I think we're gonna just quick sim that game man they're currently 11 and I do have a good feeling about it so let's see what is gonna happen come on boys yes we won 1-0 Bruno Fernandes what a very very important goal for us now we're in the transfer deadline day and you suggested me Joao Neves so many times and it just feel right for us to go for him his market value is 19 million and we managed to negotiate a price tag for him for 22 million pretty good one let's try to negotiate also a contract with him but tell me in the comments what do you think is he gonna join Manchester United in a real world I have a good feeling about it to be honest with you but I'm also super interested to see what do you think about it now the biggest question is what should we do with Michael Olise I think for this transfer window we're not gonna go for Michael Olise we do have Garnacho we do have Anthony we just don't need him but if Anthony is not performing good at all in January I'm promising you we're going for Michael Ulisse when we sorted our team it's time for the big game versus Arsenal at Emirates Stadium if we get something from this game 
we're definitely securing a spot in the top four come on boys this is so important these are the games that we need to win if we want to achieve something with manchester united already in the first season and by the way if you enjoyed this manchester united career mode leave a like subscribe to my youtube channel but now let's try to defeat arsenal this is the debut of frankie de jong as a manchester united player and here what a nice interception come on, frankie come on, frankie de jong show why we paid over 100 mil what about to Rashford? Come on, Rashford. Come on, Rashford. To Rasmus. To Rasmus. There you go. We're taking the lead very early in the game versus Arsenal. What an interception from Frankie de Jong that led to incredible ball to Marcus Rashford. And here I really thought of shooting with Rashford, but no, the pass was the better option. And we're taking the lead. Come on, boys. Now we just need to defend. We're miles better currently than Arsenal, but it's super early in the game. Oh, no, this is a mistake. Nice, Lissandro Mart. Wow, Kobe Mino is so good. He's only 69 overall, but he's playing like 80 plus overall. Like, what a nice tackle here. Huge chance here for Arsenal. Thomas Party. we need to stop him. We need to stop here. Thomas party come on don't let him cross nice list oh no come on man we got the ball here oh no this is dangerous no no we got the ball man how Thomas party took again the ball from us and of course they're gonna score this is so stupid man like honestly so stupid here and Rafa Varane what did you do why you got away from the ball of course Martinelli is gonna score ah I'm so good at it, man. We got the ball, but Thomas Park somehow got it back. Frankie right now. Oh, Frankie de Jong here. What a goal from Frankie. And what a goal from Frankie de Jong. What a debut from our Dutch midfielder. Oh, he turned Gabriel Magalash completely. And what a finish here to give us the lead one more time. We deserve it. We were the better team in the first half. Come on, boys. What a fighting spirit. Oh, no, no. Diogo Dalot here. No, Diogo Dalot. What did you do? What did you do, man? I knew that we need a new right back. What a mistake from Diogo Dalot that is leading to this goal from Gavi Jesus here. Ah, but Faran again was not that great, man. He was out of his position. Onana cannot save anything, in my opinion. I put Anthony and Mason Mount in the game. I really hope that they can be the game changers here. Ooh, Kobe Mino here got beaten. Gavi Jesus, no, 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 no. Andre Onana, you're so bad, man. Like, how are you gonna let that to be a goal for Arsenal? And with that goal, they're completely turning the game. What a poor goalkeeper we do have. Honestly, Andre Onana is so, so bad. Like, look at it. What the hell is that, man? Like, come on. Can we somehow score here and equalize at least? Anthony, Anthony, Anthony. Let's try from there on. Anthony. What a save from Aaron Rams there. We're gonna lose our first game in the Premier League wow and we were the better team versus Arsenal this is the saddest part of it but hey at the end of the day we didn't have a goalkeeper basically who can save anything our defenders were not that great we made some crucial mistake also in our attack and of course we're gonna suffer about it but let's see can we actually score here in the last minute of the game nice what a bad ball here what a bad pass but Mason Mount there you go we're not gonna lose our first game in the premier league what a comeback mason mount we deserve not to lose that game wow look at the arsenal players they're in complete shock here we messed it up again with the pass but gabriel magalash is also really bad for arsenal wow <laughs> we got lucky that he didn't block it somehow let's go boys we managed to get at least a point from arsenal our next game is gonna be versus brighton at old trafford and this game again we're just gonna quick sim so let's see what's gonna happen again we won 1-0 marcus rashford scored in the 89th minute what a moment for him he needs to score more goals to bring up his confidence 
confidence. And after five games, we're fifth in the Premier League with 11 points. Everton are second with 13 points. What the hell happened there, man? Who they signed and why they are second and we're fifth? But so far, we're performing not that bad. But now, it's probably the biggest game in our Champions League journey versus Bayern München at their stadium. So let's see how the boys are gonna perform. If we get something from here, we should be the favorites to go out of our group. Come on, we're with Copenhagen and Galatasaray, man. We should perform better than real world. Kingsley Command here now. This is dangerous. Hurricane. Finally, Onana made a save. Wow, wow. What I'm witnessing, honestly, this is incredible. Bayern München are pushing so much in that game. I have no idea how we're gonna hold. We're not gonna call. Harry Kane is calling in the 50th minute. Ah, it's gonna be very, very difficult versus these big teams, man. Andre Onana is so bad, like so bad. I have no idea how he managed to save the previous shot of Harry Kane, but this one, another very, very poor performance. Like, look at it. He should have catched that, man. Oh no, Nunu Mench here versus Leroy Zane. Come on, come on, Nunu, come on, Nunu. already after just 20 minutes ah this is not looking good at all here wow hurricane basically was completely wide open no one was covering him onana again like he was not there wow 3-0 already for bar München and again a really really poor performance from onana it's just like not having a goalkeeper man i'm definitely going to directly quick sim that game like there is not even a point for us to play it we lost 4-1 at the end 4-1 versus Bayern München. We're definitely not starting our Champions League journey on the best possible way. Our next game is going to be versus Burnley. And I'm going to make some rotations in our squad. Kobe Manu is really tired. So I'm going to give Casemiro a little bit more playing time. Let's just also give Joao Neves some playing time. And to Dibu, man. These guys deserve it. And let's see what are we going to do versus Burnley. Come on, what's going to be? What is going to be? Yeah. Yes, we won 4-2. Anthony scoring, which is a really nice one. Garnacho added two goals. Rasmus Hoywand also scored. Not a bad game versus Burnley. Miles better than the one versus Bayern. Now we do have a game versus Crystal Powers at Old Trafford. We lost 2-3 at Old Trafford versus Crystal Powers. Now is the game versus Galatasaray at Old Trafford. And they won the first game versus Copenhagen. So if we don't beat them here, man, the things are not looking good at all. That's why we're gonna play this game versus them. I really, really hope that we're gonna defeat them especially at old trafford so come on boys let's see what are we gonna do versus galatasaray oh garnacho right now garnacho nice Rasmus, Rasmus Hoywand. what a beginning of that game versus galatasaray but garnacho did everything in that situation let's go Ooh, what a ball from hakim ziyech and again man oh nana you're so bad oh garnacho right now Nice, what a ball to Rasmus, what a ball to Rasmus Hoyland from Garnacho to Bruno, 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 what a miss from Bruno, but Marcus Rashford is there to recover it and we're again taking the lead in that game, come on boys, we need to score more because Onana is the worst goalkeeper they have ever used so far, he cannot stop anything man, like what the hell oh no icardi here where is lisandro martinez what are we doing man what are we doing we're so bad in the defense like honestly where was lisandro martinez of course icardi is gonna score so bad like so bad honestly Ooh, what about to marcus rush <laughs> you missed that how you miss that man you're one-on-one -on -one versus the goalkeeper come on marcus rashford oh kobe mino kobe mino here nice to frankie frankie de jong here to marcus rashford what a goal what a goal just before the first half expired rashford redeemed himself but is that gonna be enough i highly doubt nice kobe mino what a nice interception again from kobe mino 
Oh, and now, and now, and now, what a, what a chance, what a chance, Rasmus! There you go, there you go, 4-2, this is very, very important, but what an interception from Kobe Maino. Oh, no, no, man, right now, nice, to Marcus Rashford, what a ball, what a ball, Marcus Rashford here, Marcus Rashford, what should we do, what should we do to Garnacho? 5-2 for us versus Galatasaray. Now this is something different, we're really poor in our defense, except Kobe Mino, everyone else is not performing that great, but at least in our attack we're scoring so many goals, let's go boys, we destroyed Galatasaray at Old Trafford. After the win versus Galatasaray, we defeated Brentford 2-0, Sheffield United 3-2, wow, we're currently on a really great form, and on top of these great results, we beat Copenhagen. Hagen in the Champions League 2-1 and now after 9 games we're 4th with 20 points, 5 less than the first Manchester City and our next game is gonna be versus them at Old Trafford and this is a huge one but look at us also in the Champions League man after three games we do have six points we're looking like the favorites to go out of the group stages but everything depends what are we gonna do in our next game versus Galatasaray at their home stadium now look at the team and how they're developing Frankie de Jong is currently our highest overall player he's 88 overall Kobe Mino is already 70 Garnacho 77 the only downside of this team is of course Andre Onana Rasmus Hoyland is currently a top goal scorer with 7 goals and 2 assists but after him is Marcus Rashford 6 goals 3 assists is not a bad one look at also Bruno 5 goals 2 assists Garnacho 5 goals 2 assists Hobby Mino one goal and two assists. What a performance from our 18-year-old boy. But now let's jump in the game versus Manchester City and try to get something from it. Are we gonna be able to get something from Manchester City? We need a big game from Onana if we're gonna be able to get something from them. But is he gonna deliver, especially versus Manchester City? I highly, highly doubt. But hey, you just never know. Oh, but now, but now, look at Garnacho, look at Garnacho, come on, Garnacho, come on, Garnacho, Alejandro Garnacho here. Ooh, ooh. Mm, I think we messed it up a little bit. Bruno! Oh, Kobe Mino now, nice, nice. Bruno, 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 Bruno Ferranc! What a goal, and we're taking the lead versus Manchester City. Come on, boys, we need to score a lot of goals if we want to defeat them, but Kobe Mino one more time. What a ball, he's only 18 years of age, only 70 overall, and he's playing like prime Casimiro currently. Kobe Mino right now, look at Rashford, look at Rashford, what a ball from Kobe Mino to Marcus Rashford. Let's bring him, come on Kobe Mino, from there on, Kobe Mino! What a save from Ortega, this could have been one goal for the history books. Oh no, huge chance here, huge chance here, of course, of course Onana is not gonna stop that. He's so bad, man. Like, honestly, give me some suggestions of goalkeeper to sign at Manchester United because Onana is gonna leave the club very, very soon. I can tell you that. Like, this is a pathetic goalkeeper. Manchester City are pushing us so much in the second half. It's honestly super difficult to catch up with them. Come on, Onana, save something, man. Like, just one shot, I don't want much, but every single time someone is shooting at our goal, it's a 100% goal. Like, you cannot save anything, my brother. Ooh, ooh, maybe last chance here. Maybe last chance here. Come on, to Frankie de Jong. No, what a bad ball. Ooh, come on, Frankie de Jong. Come on, Frankie de Jong. Versus Hartman, man. Who the hell is Hartman? Frankie de Jong. What a save from Ortega, wow, wow, this was so close, man, we should have scored that, but maybe from the corner here we can score! What a save from Ortega and this is the end of the game, wow, we lost 2-1 to Manchester City, 
Onana, look at Ortega. This is the goalkeeper that we want you to be. This is going to be the end of the second episode. We're ending as a sixth place team in the Premier League. Currently only one point away from the top four, which is going to be our aim for this season. I really hope you enjoyed. Of course, if so, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'm gonna catch you later. Bye bye. Previously on the Manchester United's career mode, we signed Frankie de Jong as our new midfielder. We also added to Debo and Joao Neves to the squad. But sadly, Bayern München destroyed us in the Champions League. But at least we redeemed ourselves versus Galatasaray. We beat them 5-2. And look at us after 10 games in the Premier League. We're currently 6th with only 3 points behind the 4th Newcastle. And in the Champions League, the things are also looking pretty good for us. After 3 games, we're 2nd with 6 points. And in today's episode, we're gonna try to pass to the January transfer window. We do have some big games coming up and the end of the episode i'm gonna listen to your suggestions of replacing onana he is awful and you gave me some nice idea but we're gonna discuss them later in the episode now let's quick sim the game versus a fool i'm there currently 17 and i do have big expectations from this game but you never know what's gonna happen yes we beat them 3-1 Marcus Rashford, Casemiro and Bruno Fernand scored the opening goals in that game. Come on boys, what a nice beginning of the third episode. And of course, if you enjoyed the Manchester United career mode, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. But now, let's see what are we gonna do next. After the win versus Fulham, we went on an incredible run. We defeated Copenhagen in the Champions League. Then we defeated Luton 3-2 and also Everton 3-2. And our next game is gonna be versus Galatasaray and look at the standings in the Champions League. After four games, we do have nine points, six more than the Galatasaray, much better goal difference than them. So I do believe that we're gonna be through to, onto the next round for sure. But look at us also in the Premier League. After 13 games, we're third with 29 points, four less than the first Liverpool who are still undefeated. But so far, the things are looking really, really well in the Premier League and also in the Champions League. So let's just also quick sim the game versus Galatasaray. Here, a draw is going to be enough in my opinion. So let's see what's going to happen. Ooh, we even defeated them 3-1. Mason Mount, Rasmus Hoyland and Diogo Dalot. Mason Mount is playing because Bruno received a red card. But what a start, man. If we defeat Bayern, we're going to finish first in our Champions League group. But... We remember what happened last time when we faced Bayern München. But now our next game is going versus Newcastle. And this is going to be the first game that we're going to play for that episode. Currently, there are six with 26 points. We're third with 29. So it's going to be a really, really tough game. So let's dive into it. It's a huge game right now. If we get a three point here, this is going to be massive for this career mode. Oh, Marcus Rashford from there. Marcus Rashford! He hit the post. Wow, this was so close, man. How Rashford missed that. Imagine if he scored that goal. Like, look how close it was, man. What a shot, by the way. Dubravka had no chance of saving that. Wow, this is so close. But what a start of this game. Come on, boys. We need to score some goals. Big chance here for Newcastle. Rafa Varane. What a tackle. This is a World Cup winner. Champions League winner. And that's why he's playing for us. Oh, Frankie now. Oh, what a ball from Frankie De Jong to Alejandro Garnacho. Garnacho. Come on, Garnacho to Rasmus. Oh, what a bad pass from Ra Garnacho, nice. Still, come on. Kobe Mino. Let's try it from there. Kobe Mino. Ooh, good try though. Ooh, huge chance here. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Every single shot that we're gonna face is gonna be go because Onana is so bad, man. Like, he cannot save a damn thing. And just like that, by dominating in the first half, now we're down 1 0. But, oh, Rasmus. Rasmus. Rasmus! Another post? Come on! We should have let in that game so far and the result in the end of the first half is 1-0 for Newcastle. 
Ah, come on, boys. We can turn that game. And we made some changes. Joao Neves is now in the game. And also Anthony. I really want to give him a little bit more playing time. Because if he doesn't perform well, you know what's going to happen for him in January. He is going to leave Manchester United. And we're going to sign Michael Olise. Oh, Frankie de Jong here. Oh, Frankie de Jong here with a lot of free space. Frankie de Jong. Frankie de Jong. Frankie de Jong. Why we didn't shoot with Frankie de Jong? Why I decided to pass to Joao Neves? This was a huge mistake in my opinion, but maybe we can score here from the corner. Another miss from Marcus Rashford. Wow, we are playing so much better than Newcastle, but we're losing so far. We're getting closer and closer to the end of the game, and we cannot break Newcastle at all. Quite the opposite so far. They're dominating in the second half, but... Let's see. Oh, no. It's going to be a goal, right? It is a goal. Oh, Nana again. Very poor defending this time from me. We let Isak wide open. And, of course, he's going to take advantage of it. We're going to lose our game versus Newcastle here. Huge mistake, in my opinion, from Nunu Mench. And, of course, we cannot rely on Onana. He cannot save anything. After the loss versus Newcastle, we lost versus Chelsea at Old Trafford 2-0. What a bad result after a bad result. But at least we won versus Bournemouth 2-1. Bruno Ferran scored two goals in that game. And now after 16 games, we're fourth with 32 points. We scored 32 goals, which is a huge achievement in my opinion for 16 games. But we conceded 23 goals. This is the most of out of the first eight teams, man. Like so bad performance from our defenders and especially from Onana. But at least in the Champions League, we're through to the next round. But now we do have a huge game versus Bayern München. If we defeat them, we're gonna end as first in our group. <laughs> this is gonna be incredible if we can achieve that. The team is developing really well. Frankie de Jong is currently our highest overall player. He's 89 overall. Rasmus Hoyland 81. Garnacho is now 78. The things are looking really, really well. Rasmus Skoyland is also the top goal scorer with 10 goals, 4 assists. Look at Bruno Fernandes, by the way, 9 goals, 2 assists. Rashford is having such a nice season so far, 9 goals, 4 assists. Garnacho 6 goals, 3 assists in 21 games is not that much in my opinion. But so far also not a bad performance also from the young Argentinian. But now it's the big game versus Bayern München at Old Trafford. How boys, we need to defeat them and we're gonna have probably an easier draw in the next round. But knowing what happened previously versus Bayern, I don't have big expectations from that game. But hey, let's see. Can Leroy Zane score that free kick, man? I highly doubt that he can, but let's find out. Oh, Nana saved something. Let's go. Wow. Wow. Oh, Nana. What a save. Nice. Kobe Mino. What a nice tackle. Kobe Mino is so good, by the way. Come on, Frankie. Come on, Frankie. Do something magical, Frankie Deo. To Bruno. Bruno Ferrand. There you go, there you go, what an interception from Kobe Maino and Frankie de Jong with an incredible ball to Bruno Fernandes and currently we're topping our Champions League group, come on, I did not expect that but there is still a lot of time and Bayern of course can come back. Oh, Jamal Musiawa here, oh we don't need, oh ho, ho. Lisandro Martinez, this was crucial. Look at Diogo Dalo. This is incredible what I'm witnessing right now. But oh, Kobe Mino here lost the ball. Kobe Mino here lost the ball. No, no. Kobe Mino lost the ball. And of course, oh, Nana is not going to save it. This was a huge, huge mistake from our side. Are we actually even going to lose the game? Of course, we're going to lose the game. Of course, oh, Nana cannot stop anything, man. Wow, we lost in the last seconds of that game. Like, look at it here. Harry Kane. What a strike. Onana. 
it's just like not having a goalkeeper man i honestly cannot wait for the january transfer window just to sell this fraud and straight after the game versus bayern we do now have another huge game this versus liverpool currently they're first with 40 points we're eight points behind them so let's see what's gonna happen but for that game man I'm not gonna start on Nana. I'm so sorry about it, but we do have this guy who is 77 overall, but I don't think that he can be any worse than Onana. So let's just try him, man. He deserves a shot. I really don't want to use Onana anymore. He's so bad. What a save from our goalkeeper. Wow, he's already better than Onana. He did more for us than Onana did the whole first half season. I mean, Nunes here. Good that it's Nunes, but even Nunes can score in FC24, I think. What a save again from our goalkeeper. He's really good, man. I did not expect that. Davi Nunes right now versus Lisandro Martinez. We missed the tackle. Oh, but Nunes also here messed it up a little bit. And Nuno Mench. No, no, Nuno man. No. What a save from our goalkeeper, man. Wow, I'm telling you, Onana is so bad. Frankie de Jong right now. Frankie de Jong with a lot of free space here. Frankie de Jong with a lot of free space. Frankie de Jong, let's try from there on. Frankie de Jong. How oh, you missed that, man. What a chance here we missed to take the lead just by the end of the first half. Come on, boys. We still do have a chance to defeat Liverpool. Oh, no. Davin here. Oh, Davin Nunes. <laughs> I'm honestly in shock, man. This goalkeeper is, I think, 77 overall he was. And he's so much better than the 84 overall Onana. Like, how is this possible? No, no, man. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. We just need to score one goal versus Liverpool. And maybe this is going to be the decider here. Marcus Rashford. Look at Nuno Mench. Look at Nuno Mench. He's starting the run. A little bit bad pass from Marcus Rashford. But still. Come on, bring it back. Bring it back. Nice. What are you doing, Rashford? Okay, Kobe Mino, Kobe Mino right now, Kobe Mino, Kobe Mino! Ah, if he was a little bit better, maybe he could have taken that shot. Rashford right now, Marcus Rashford here. Come on, Marcus Rashford, come on, Marcus Rashford, I know you can do it to Bruno! What a miss here, wow, wow, we're missing so many good chances, boys, come on, we just need to score one goal versus Liverpool. Oh, Diogo Jota right now, oh no, this is dangerous, this is dangerous, no, man, stop it, man, please, 79th minute, and Luis Diaz is scoring versus us, no, this is so bad. I knew it that at Anfield is gonna be difficult, but that look at the joy of Jurgen Klopp, man. Like, come on. We were so close of defeating them, but at the end of the day, they were the better team. And it's just fair to say that they deserve that win. So let's see how the standings in the Premier League are looking. We're fifth far away from Liverpool, but only one point away from the third Newcastle. So the things for us finishing in the top four are looking really, really solid. But look what happened after the Liverpool game. Hey boss, I'm really disappointed of our performance in the big games and I decided that my future no longer belongs to Manchester United. I want to leave and join Liverpool? What the hell are you talking to me, Marcus? We invested so much time into you and now you want to join our biggest rival? Are you out of your mind? No boss, my decision is final. I already contacted you. Jurgen Klopp, you did what? Now this changed a lot of things. What are we gonna do in the January transfer window? I have no idea, but we need to replace Onana. And now maybe we need us to replace Marcus Rashford. I really did not want that. We still do have Anthony, but... Come on, Rashford. Why you want to join Liverpool of all team? At least now we do have a big game versus Aston Villa and I have big expectations and we won it 1-0. Lisandro Martinez scored. But look at it, man. In the 65th minute, we subbed Rashford for Anthony and maybe now we need to use Anthony much, much more than Marcus Rashford. Hey, boss. I really want to thank you for all you did for me, but I'm leaving officially and joining a Liverpool. What the hell, man? Rashford left us and now this is how our squad is looking. 
and we need to start upgrading man we're currently in the january transfer window we do have a budget of 172 million so basically we can sign a lot of players but for that episode we're gonna only improve andre onana and you gave me some incredible ideas to sign either your cobel or diogo costa from porto and Diogo Costa is 84 overall, he's 24 years of age, but look at your Cobel, man, 88 overall, yes, two years older than Diogo Costa, his market value is 73 million, but if we put Onana into that deal, maybe we can get him for around 40, baby, so let's just try it, man, I really want your Cobel, but if the things are not gonna work with him, we're signing Diogo Costa, so let, ooh, Onana is worth only 27 million, let's try it. Onana and 50 million maybe what are you gonna say Borussia you want 80 million plus Onana nah this is too much man I cannot give you 80 million I can give you max 55 plus Onana but more than that it's gonna be just a joke 61.3 yeah let's try 58 maybe what are you gonna say Dortmund come on accept that man oh they accepted it we do have a new goalkeeper in York Cobel 58 million plus Onana is not that much in my opinion and this is how we're gonna end the third episode this is the squad that we do have tell me in the comments now which left winger should we go for and sign for Manchester United I really have one idea but I really want to see what are you gonna suggest me I took over Manchester United to bring them back to their glory days when they were winning Premier League titles just for fun and of course winning the champions league and now after three episodes of this career mode we're sitting in the fourth spot with 41 points only five points below the first liverpool but in the last episode marcus rashford decided to join liverpool our biggest rival how can you do that marcus and now i ask you also in the previous episode which left winger should we go for and replace marcus rashford and you gave me some awesome awesome ideas thank you by the way so much for them and i really like the idea of signing rafael leao his market value is 97 million and our budget is a little bit over 100 so this is gonna be a really difficult task for us to convince rafael leao to join us but hey man let's just try it how much money should we offer right now ac milan for rafael leao let's try first with 100 million oh they want 120 but somehow we managed to convince them to sell us Rafa Leao for 105 million. But now can we pay his wages? This is going to be the biggest question. And we gave everything for rafael leao i really hope that he's gonna be worth it of course if you enjoy so far this manchester united career mode leave a like subscribe to my youtube channel we're really close to 15k subscribers so every help is gonna be much much appreciated but now rafael leao is joining manchester united but i don't like this number nine that the game is giving to him we're gonna start changing some numbers in our team and one of you gave me an incredible idea to make Alejandro Garnacho our new number seven and this is exactly what we did we also changed the number of Rasmus Hoyland he is now our new number nine and Rafael Leao is our new number 10 I think this suits perfectly our three attackers so let's see how are we gonna perform in our first game of this episode versus Spurs so Werner here with a good opportunity but no no man what a nice interception but the Spurs attack is not over yet come on wow again Nuno managed two incredible interceptions oh, can we catch them on the counter-attack right now Rafael Leao what about what about Rasmus come on, Frankie Frankie no man this was so close to be the opening goal in that game wow what a miss from Frankie Dion there's a huge gap right now in our defense what are we doing someone needs to stop Timo Werner come on Ooh, what a tackle from Diogo Dalo this was really nice oh, Rasmus Hoyland right now to Garnacho. Come on, Alejandro Garnacho. Come on, man. You are our new number seven. <laughs> what a miss from Alejandro Garnacho. How can you miss that, man? You are our new number seven play like our former number seven we're already in the second half can we break spurs right now oh come on no no man oh what about what about Frankie? oh rasmus rasmus 
Rasmus, Rasmus, how one? There you go. What a moment for our striker. We're taking the lead in the second half of that game versus Spurs, and it is fully deserved. We were playing so good in our defense. The Cobble effect is showing us that we're really, really good defensively. But also Rafael Leao, what a ball here to Rasmus Hoywand, And he's scoring the first goal of that game. Come on, boys. Now we just need to defend our lead. Oh, the Uncle Lusescu right now. This is dangerous. Come on, Nuno Mensch. Oh, Nuno Mensch. What a nice interception, man. Like, Nuno Mensch is so far one of the signings of this career mode a series. But here, Rafael Leao with a huge mistake. Come on, come on, someone needs to... No, no, what are we doing? Kobe Mino, come on. No, man, no, 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 no. Oh, Georg Kobel, that's why we paid so much money for you, man. And we gave away Onana. Onana was really bad and Kobel is really good. Oh, we survived in that situation. Come on, boys. We won the game versus Spurs. What a moment for us. Straight after the Spurs game, Casimiro went to our owners and look what he said. He wants to leave Manchester United. I'm not giving him that much playing time, so that's why he wants to leave. I kind of understand him, to be honest with you. He's already 32 years of age and we're using Kobe Mino so much more than him. But come on, Casimiro, man, I'm not thinking about selling you. You do have so much experience that you can help Kobe Mino develop so much faster. So that's why this offer from Borussia Dortmund, we're gonna reject. Not only that we won versus Spurs and kept Casimiro, we also continue winning some games. We won 1-0 versus Wolves. Kobe Mino scored in the 82nd minute. What a moment for the youngster. Then we defeated West Ham 2-1 Lissandro. Martinez scored late in that game to give us the lead and on top of that we destroyed Aston Villa 3-0 man with two goals from Bruno Fernandes and one goal from Rasmus Hoywan. What a moment for us man. This can be a turning point in our season and after 24 games we're currently second with only two points less than Manchester City but we're there man. We're performing really really well but now it's time for for our Champions League knockout rounds and our opponent is gonna be Barcelona and this is gonna be such a difficult task versus them. But these boys maybe can pull the miracle and eliminate Barcelona. We do have their former player Frankie de Jong who is our highest overall player in that team. Also Rafael Leao now 87 overall, Garnacho is also developing, so let's see man, what are we gonna do versus Barcelona? They added Trent Alexander-Arnold to their lineup, how they find the money for him? This is a little bit weird, oh maybe we helped them actually sign Trent Alexander-Arnold, I think we gave more than 100 million for Frank de Jong. So let's see, man. This is gonna be two very, very interesting games versus Barcelona, and I have big expectations from our boys. And in the game versus Barcelona, Kobe was sensational. Ooh, Lewandowski right now versus Lisandro Martinez. Come on, Martinez. No! Oh, what a save from Jörg Kobe. I think he saved it with his feet. Let's just watch it one more time. But I do believe he saved it with his feet. Yeah. Oh, he does have this play style. That's why he saved it. Oh, Nana didn't have any play styles at all wow Kobe is incredible guys if you haven't tried your Kobe so far give him a try he's a little bit expensive but he's saving so far everything and we're playing on ultimate difficulty ah referee why you didn't blow the whistle right now no level wow Kobe how many saves so far man I think this is his fourth or fifth save incredible performance from our goalkeeper definitely worth the money Oh, Lewandowski right now. No! Wow, either Kobel is super good or the Barcelona players are really bad, but we managed to keep a clean sheet. They could have managed to break your Kobel and it was fully deserved in my opinion that we didn't concede a single goal, but we didn't create anything versus Barca, which is definitely not looking promising 
for the second leg at no cam. And now we're approaching this part of the season where we need to rotate a lot of our players. That's why I create a B team. And in these B teams are all of the players that we're not using that much. And I really want to give them some playing time. Of course, we still need to rely on Rasmus Hoyland because we don't have a backup striker. Lisandro Martinez is also there and Diogo Dalot. I just cannot imagine Johnny Evans playing instead of Lisandro Martinez. So that's why we're sticking with him. And to test this a B team, we're gonna quick sim the game versus Luton Town. And yes, we won 2-0. Anthony, look at Anthony. He's shining for us. And also Lisandro Martinez score a second goal. And now after 25 games, we're first somehow i have no idea how we're first we can see it only 29 goals so far in 25 games which is not that bad in my opinion but our next game is gonna be versus manchester city at etihad and this one is a huge one if we get something from that game we're turning into the favorites to win the premier league oh alejandro garnacho here with a lot of free space come on garnacho come on garnacho what a save from ederson come on boys we need to push more we need to score versus manchester city maybe we're gonna score right now from this corner Whoa, Rafael Varane, what a moment for us, man. We are taking the lead versus Manchester City. It's very early in the game, but still, we're leading in the Etihad. This is incredible. Come on, boys. Now, we need to show Manchester City that we improve from the previous time that we faced them. What a goal, by the way, from Rafael Varane. Ruben Dias couldn't stop him, and he took advantage of it. This is the World Cup winner, Rafael run that we want to see at Manchester United and after we scored Manchester City start to put a pressure into us but your Cobell continue to perform really really well he saved everything versus Barcelona I really hope that he can save also everything versus Manchester City but only time will tell oh Frankie Deon here is true and go come on, Frankie Deon. come on Rasmus come on Rasmus cross it cross it to Rasmus Rasmus how you missed that man come on this could have been the second goal and probably a decider oh ooh, ooh, erling Haaland got us here big time and of course he's gonna score wow this game should have been 2-0 for us and now it's 1-1 and basically everything starts from the beginning what a mistake here from Lisandro Martinez. Haaland destroyed us with just one simple skill move. Ah, and now the game is tied. Come on, boys. We are better than that. We can definitely lead again. Oh, Diogo Dalot here. Give it to Rasmus. To Rasmus. Come on, Rasmus. Come on, Rasmus. Rasmus, how you want? How you miss that, man? Wow, we're missing so many good chances. And especially Rasmus missed two very crucial chances. Maybe now we can score another goal from a corner. Come on, Frankie De Jong. Deliver the perfect ball. Oh, I really thought that Varane can score his second goal in that game. And wait, what? Rodri's on the bench? Okay. What a disrespect from Pep Guardiola. Bruno, what about, what about to Rasmus? Oh, this could have been one of the goals of the season. What a moment. Wow, Rasmus Hoyland missed three very, very good chances to score a goal. I really hope that we're not going to regret not scoring any of these chances. So come on, boys. We just need to hold versus Manchester City. But this sounds so bad. I put Anthony into the game and now he's the dying seconds of it. Come on, Anthony. Come on, Anthony. Come on, Anthony. Oh, what a save from Ederson. And this is how the game ended. 1-1. At Etihad versus Manchester City is not a bad result in my opinion, but we should have won that game. We missed so many chances. Ah, come on, boys. This was a perfect opportunity for us to build a gap to Manchester City. And our next game is gonna be versus Barcelona, the second leg of the Champions League. But look before that, our team, man. Rasmus Hoyland is now 83 overall. Alejandro Garnacho. 
80 overall even Kobe Mayan is now 72 overall the boys are developing really well now let's see what are we gonna do versus Barca Barcelona start to push from the beginning your Kobe what a save wow this guy is so good man can we finally create a good chance Rafael I'll try from there on oh what a save from Mark Andre Ter Stegen this could have been 1-0 for us wow we're suffering versus Barcelona man Gavi right now no no referee this is not a penalty man come on i think we got the ball let's just watch the replay but i really think i got the ball here let's see mm, maybe i didn't get the ball and i got the lack of pavo gavi ah this is now the best opportunity that barcelona receives robert Lewandowski versus georg Kobel. we messed it up we messed it up completely ah these stupid walk offs of the penalty man it was my mistake i jumped a little bit too early and Lewandowski scored the first goal in that game are we gonna be able to come back let's find out but i highly doubt oh, robert Lewandowski right now for barcelona oh no this is the oh no 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 pedri ah 2-0 right now at no camp just before the first half expired are we gonna be able now to score two goals in the second half at no camp versus this barcelona team i don't think that we're gonna be able to to be honest with you oh, but maybe now we can start the comeback rafael leo no what a save from mark andre ter stegen come on leave us have at least a go man come on lisandro come on lisandro martinez come on no we didn't stop him we didn't stop rafinha 3-0 at no come versus Barcelona and we're gonna be out of the Champions League definitely not the season that I wanted for us in the Champions League but hey man we got knocked out from it in the round of 16 from Barcelona they were just better than us and straight after the Barcelona game Newcastle wants to pay the release clause of Anthony they want to give us 44.4 million pounds for Anthony wow we cannot do anything about it but look what happened also on the next day Manchester City wants to pay also the release clause of Anthony why they do need Anthony man like this a little bit weird but in the end of the day he decided to join Newcastle instead of Manchester City at least that but we're losing Anthony for 44.4 million maybe it's a good deal to be honest with you his current market value is a little bit over 30 but tell me in the comments what do you think about that are you happy that Anthony is gonna leave Manchester United by the end of this season at least after we sold Anthony we defeated Everton 3-2 Rafael Leao scored in the 84th minute. Come on, boys. We're getting closer and close to end of the season. And we need to redeem ourselves in front of our fans. And we also won versus Fulham 3-2. This time, Bruno Fernandes scored two very, very crucial goals. And now for the game versus Brentford, we're going to use our second team. And oh, we drop points versus them. Rasmus Hoywan missed the penalty. And now after 30 games, we're second with only one point less than Manchester City. But we also played one game less than them. So, so far, if we win our remaining eight games, we're gonna win the Premier League already in our first season. I highly doubt that we're gonna win our next eight games, especially when our next game is gonna be versus Liverpool at Old Trafford. But this game we're gonna play next episode. Also, in the semi-finals of the FA Cup and there we're gonna face Manchester City another battle versus Pep Guardiola but this game is also going to be in next episode but look at our team and Rafael Leao is already 88 overall the boys are performing really really well Frankie De Jong is still our highest overall player he's 91 
your Kobo is also shining for us. I'm really happy with the performance of every single player. Bruno Fernandes is having the season of his life so far. 22 goals and 4 assists in 39 games. What a performance. Rasmus scored so far 17 goals, which is not bad at all. I'm a little bit disappointed of Garnacho. Only 6 goals, only 5 assists. I expect a little bit more from our new number 7, but he's still only 19 years of age. Rafael Leao also didn't start his Manchester United career in the best possible way, but maybe he needs some time to adapt himself to the English football. So this is gonna be the end of this episode. I really hope you enjoyed. Of course, if so, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, but I'm gonna catch you later. I took over Manchester United to bring them back to their glory days when they were winning Premier League titles and also Champions league trophies sadly we got knocked out from barcelona in the champions league but in the premier league after 30 games were second with one point less than manchester city but we also played one game less than them and our next game is going versus liverpool at old trafford this is a huge one and look at also the team that we created what an incredible lineup now we do have we do have rafael leao who we added in the last episode rasmus hoyland is now 83 overall Look at Garnacho, our star boy, 80 overall. Frankie De Jong, he's the highest overall player in that team. He's 91. Kobe Mayano is now 72 overall. The boys are performing really, really well. And especially we're performing really well since we added Georg Kobel into our lineup. Now he's 89 overall. And what a signing this guy is. We also need to remember that in the last episode, Newcastle paid the release clause of Anthony. And he's gonna join them from the beginning of next season so we're definitely gonna go for a new right winger next season but now let's see what are we gonna do versus liverpool at old trafford we're dominating currently liverpool but so far we cannot score our chances <laughs> alejandro garnacho what a go and we're taking the lead versus liverpool frank de Jong with another assist he's our top assistant this season but what a strike from our new number seven he deserved that number wow what a go from garnacho versus allison this is incredible can liverpool score from that free kick i don't think that they can but let's see Ooh, it was a close one, but also not that close. End of the first half, we're leading 1-0, but we need to score a second goal because Liverpool can score any minute, man. Why are Liverpool not using Rashford, by the way? They paid so much money for him. He wants to join them, and now they're not using him. This is a little bit weird, in my opinion. Come on, Rafa Varane. Come on, Rafa Varane. You need to stop them. You need to stop them. No. He's not looking promising, but Kobe Mino, what a CDM we do have in our team. I'm super excited to see how he's going to develop at Manchester United. Oh, Konate here. No, 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 no. What a mistake. What a mistake from our team and Konate. No, this is not even Konate. Is that Mendy? Is that Furwan Mendy from Real Madrid? What a mistake, man. Like, honestly, we messed it up completely. Let's just watch here the replay. What here we did, man? Ah, no, no, man. And of course, they're going to take advantage of it. So now the game starts from the beginning. Are we going to drop points versus Liverpool one more time? Come on, Rafael Leao. We paid so much money for you, man. Start performing like a superstar. Oh, Rafael Leao. Rafael. Rafael Leao. What a block here from Joel Matip. But come on, boys. We're pushing more and more. Oh, no. Nice, Rafa Varan. What a nice interception again from Rafa Varan. He's so good, man. I really want to sell him by the beginning of that series. But no, he proves us every single time. Oh, and now? And now? Come on. Come on, Rafael Leao. Please, Rafael Leao. What a save from Allison. Game is slipping away from us. We don't have that much time to score a second goal. And maybe we're gonna drop points versus Liverpool. And if that happens, this is not gonna look very, very promising for us. Winning the title. Ooh, I really thought here that we can actually lose that game. But maybe now we can catch them on the counter-attack. Come on now. Come on now. Come on, Rasmus. Come on, Rasmus. Do something magical, Rasmus Hoyman. Do something magical, Rasmus Hoyland. What a bad pass to Frankie de Jong. And this is probably going to be the end of the game. We drop points versus Liverpool. 
Ah, now we need to rely on Manchester City to drop points and this is never good to rely on someone else to not win all of their games. Our next game is gonna be versus a Bournemouth at their home stadium. So let's see, what are we gonna do? Ooh, we defeated them 2-1. Rasmus Hoywan scored in the 79th minute and of course Alejandro Garnacho. But now let's see what Manchester City did. And they dropped points versus Luton at Etihad. How the hell that happened and now after 32 games we do have two points lead to Manchester City with six game remaining we can win the Premier League but we cannot drop any more points because they do have a better goal difference and if we drew one of the next six games we're again gonna lose the lead now it's time for the FA Cup semi-final versus Manchester City and this is a huge game for us if we win here we're gonna have a chance to win our first trophy for that season. Wow, we're playing so good versus Manchester City. We're pressing them. Now we got the ball here. What a bad pass. What a bad pass to Rasmus Hoyman. Frankie, Frankie de Jong. Wow, what a miss. But we're playing so good versus Manchester City. How the hell he missed that, man? And this was far away from the target. Come on, Frank, you are 91 overall, man. You should uh, shoot better than that. Oh, Rafael Leao here versus Manuel Akanji. Come on, Rafael Leao. Come on, Rafael Leao. Start scoring goals for us, Rafael Leao. What a save from Ederson. I'm a little bit disappointed from Rafa Leao, man. He's just not scoring that many goals for us so far. Nice. What a nice interception from Nuno Mench here. Wow, we're playing so much better than Manchester City. Nuno Mench, let's try it from there. Nuno! <laughs> <laughs> this guy doesn't have a right foot at all, man, to save his life. What was that for a shot? Wow. Ooh, ooh, Erling Haaland here got us big time. Someone needs to stop them. Wow, what a nice goal from Manchester City, man. They broke every single tackle. And Julian Alvarez is scoring the first goal in that game. It was clear that it's gonna be difficult versus them, but I thought that we were the better team in the first half. But this, how can you stop that, man? Like, look how many tackles they broke here. We couldn't stop them at all. And then what a finish from Julian Alvarez. 1-0 for Manchester City. Can we come back? Let's find out. Huge chance here for Manchester City. Oh, no. Oh, what a save from Georg Kobel. Oh, Julian Alvarez and again Georg Kobel. What a nice save. And now maybe we can catch them here on the counter-attack. This is going to be awesome. Come on, Rafael Leao. Come on, Rafael Leao. You can get past Kyle Walker without big of a problems. Nice. Ah, what a bad pass here from Rafael Leao. Come on, man. Just... Can you not pass Kyle Walker? Oh, to Kobe Mino. He's wide open. Kobe Mino! What a bad shot. But we need to try it, man. He was wide open. Alejandro Garnacho right now for our team. Oh, Alejandro Garnacho here to Rasmus. Rasmus Hoywan. Rasmus Hoywan! And we're back into the game. What a finish from big boy Rasmus Hoywan. We deserve that goal, man. We played so well versus Manchester City. And what a finish. And now in the 84th minute, everything starts from the beginning. What a ball here from Alejandro Garnacho. And how we trick Ruben Diaz. What a strike from Rasmus. I'm honestly super impressed by his performance. No, wow, Rodri was here wide open, man. What a mistake from our team. We even tackled Erling Haaland, but he got the lucky rebound. Rodri did everything here by himself. Like, look at it. Three players couldn't manage to stop Rodri. And here we got the ball, but wow, this is so unlucky. Last minutes of that game and Manchester City does have a chance to score. And they even received a Penalty, man. What a bad performance in the extra time for Rafa Varane. Hey, it is what it is. We're gonna lose that game. And to be honest with you, we were good in the full 90 minutes. But in the extra time, Manchester City were just the better team out of the two. And they are this fully deserving going to the FA Cup final. And now we need to fight only for the Premier League. Which maybe is gonna be not that bad. Bruno is still our top goal scorer with 22 goals and 4 assists. Look at Rasmus, by the way. He grew to 83 overall. He scored 19 goals this season. Frankie Dionk is by far our best assistant. 14 assists. And he also grew to 91 
plus four overall. What a nice first season he's having at Manchester United. Rafael Leao, only four goals, 11 assists, but he played six games for AC Milan in the Champions League. So these are like in how many? In 17 games, he scored only four goals and assisted only once. This is not the performance that we expect from a player that is worth over 100 million, but maybe he's keeping his goals for the remaining of the season. Speaking of remaining of the season, our next game is going to be versus Sheffield United. And for that game, we're going to give the chance of our B team boys to shine and they defeat them 3-0. But Rafael Leao scored two goals. Okay, he was subbed off in the 60th minute and he scored two very very crucial goals and we defeated Sheffield United 3-0 come on boys we're getting closer and closer of winning the Premier League and we do have some nice games ahead of us the next one is against Burnley who are currently last in the Premier League are we gonna defeat the last team yes oh Rafael Leao again score I told you maybe he's keeping his goals for the remaining of the Premier League season and after 34 games we still do have two points leads to the second Manchester City and these are our four remaining games away versus crystal powers home game versus arts now this is gonna be a big one then home game versus newcastle and then away at brighton these are four very very difficult games but i do believe in our boys what are we gonna do versus crystal powers come on boys yes rasmus hoywand wow this was a comeback win by the way eberechi as he scored for them and then rasmus hoywand scored two very very important goals come on boys we're getting closer and closer i cannot believe that we're gonna win probably the premier league if we win our remaining three games and now it's probably the toughest out of all of them versus Arsenal at Old Trafford are we gonna be able to beat Arsenal we need to if we want to win the Premier League come on Kobe Mino come on Kobe oh ooh, look how much free space by the way that he does here Rafael Leao here what a block from William Saliba I think that was wow oh, Alejandro Garnacho right now Garnacho here come on Alejandro Garnacho come on Garnacho from there Garnacho Oh, 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 what a goal from Alejandro Garnacho versus Arsenal. This is our star boy. Why are they not starting David Raya and Aaron Ramsdale? But this doesn't matter, man. What a finish from Garnacho. Come on. Oh, Rafael Leo here. Come on, Rafael Leo. Come on, Rafael Leo. Show me what you can do, Rafael Leo. What a nice kill move here to Bruno. Bruno Ferranc. Or a save from Aram Ramsdale. Maybe that's why he is starting ahead of David Raya. Ooh, Kai Havertz here got us big time. No, no, not Kai Havertz, man. Ah, what a mistake from Rafa Varane and King Kai took advantage of it. We couldn't manage to stop him here. And basically, this is straight from the kickoff. Of course, this kickoff glitch are still there. Mistake from Rafa Varane and of course Kai Havertz took advantage of it. Now we need to score a second goal. We must. Oh, maybe now we can catch them on the counter-attack. This is going to be awesome. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. Frankie down here is wide open. Come on, Frankie. Come on, Frankie. You cannot miss that. You cannot miss that. We got them on the counter-attack. What a strike. We were the kings of the counter-attack and we're showing... Wow. What's happening with this graphic in FC24, man? Like, this was super weird but doesn't matter we scored the second goal this is the most important thing now we just need to defend it what about to Frankie come on come on man Rasmus Rasmus one more one more Bruno there you go there you go game over wow these graphics currently are so bad but this doesn't matter man we are gonna win the game versus Arsenal and this is the most important thing we're two wins away of lifting the Premier League let's go whoa Manchester City dropped points and now we do have four points lead versus them with only two games remaining so basically if we win versus Newcastle at Old Trafford we're winning the Premier League this is gonna be incredible but these boys deserve it look Look at the team that we do have, man. Alejandro Garnacho, 81 overall. Rasmus Hoywand is now 84. This guy is such a monster. So come on, boys. Let's jump into the game versus Newcastle and win the Premier League. Rafael Leao here. Nice to Rasmus. Come on, Rafael Leao. Start the run. Start the run, Rafael. 
What a ball, what a ball. Come on, Rafael Leao. You should score that. You should score that, Rafael Leao. Finally, finally, Rafael Leao is shining for us. We waited so many games for him to settle at Manchester. And now he's showing us that he deserved that time. What a goal. And this goal can be the decider of us winning the Premier League. Come on, boys. We're getting closer and closer. Oh, chance for Newcastle here. Nice. Rafael Varane. What a defender, man. Tell me in the comments, do you want me actually to change Rafael Varane next season? I really want to keep him and use him every single game. He's so good. But tell me in the comments, what do you think about it? And of course, if you have some suggestions of players that you want to see in the second season with Manchester United just tell me in the comments what a miss here from Rafael Leao this could have been the game winning goal of us winning the Premier League but hey man maybe the second goal is just few seconds away oh huge chance here for Newcastle Giorgobo Wow, two incredible saves from Giorgobo how he managed to pull that I have no idea but Wow. Oh, Rasmus right now. Nice. Frankie de Jong here. Frankie de Jong here. Give it to Garnacho. Come on, Alejandro Garnacho. Come on, Alejandro Garnacho. To Ra... No. Ooh, there you go. There you go. Game over. Rafael Leao at the right time, at the right place. What a moment for us. What a ball from Frankie de Jong here to Garnacho. And then what a nice assist from Alejandro Garnacho to Rafael Leao. Now we cannot borrow it, right? We're leading 2-0 versus Newcastle at Old Trafford. Everything seems perfect. So let's see what's gonna happen. And we did it, guys. We won the Premier League in the first season of this Manchester United career mode. In the next one, we're going for the Champions League trophy. So give me some ideas of players that you want to see at Manchester United. And next season, we're gonna try to sign some of them. But what a first season. Of course, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And very, very soon is gonna be the beginning of the second season where we're gonna try to win the champions league but now i'm out and i wish you a great day bye bye took over manchester united to bring them to the glory days and by the end of the first season we won the premier league and in this second season we're aiming to bring manchester united to the top of the world by winning the champions league this is how the team is looking. Your Kobe we do have in goal. Our right back is Diogo Dalot, who is currently 83 overall. Rafa Varane is our captain, 85 overall. Lisandro Martinez, one of the best center backs they have used so far. Nuno Mench is our left back, pretty good option also. And our star boy, Kobe Maino, he is 73 overall at the CDM row. Frankie De Jong is our other midfielder, he is 91. Bruno, of course, 88. And look at Rasmus Hoyman, 85 overall. He does have some nice stats, man. 89 pace, 84 shooting. What a talent Rasmus Hoyman is. Of course, Garnacho, he is 81. Five star skill moves, five star weak foot. What a player we do have. And Rafael Leao, the signing of the last season. He delivered the Premier League trophy to us. And in today's episode, we're gonna try to improve our starting 11 players and, of course, our bench of players Anthony is gonna leave us on the next day he already decided to join Newcastle because they paid his release a close we do have Casemiro who we haven't used that much last season Mason Mount is also here we do have also Neves from Benfica Todibo is also here and of course Luke Shaw so for that episode you gave me some nice suggestions regarding wingers that you want to see at Manchester United and we do have a lot of money so we can buy a lot of these players that you suggested we do have over 300 million to improve that squad so let's just get into business one of the most suggested player from the previous season was jeremy frimpong he is 86 overall and what a signing this is going to be for Manchester United. So let's just make it a reality. Of course, we're not going to pay his release close. This is too much for us. But if we can get him for around 80 million, this is going to be pretty good money for him. Oh, and they agree straight away. Okay, this was too easy. Wants only 100k. Wow, this is super cheap. And there it is. 
Jeremy Frim Funk is our first signing and what a start of the second season, man. We improved massively our defense. I really hope you enjoy so far this Manchester United career mode. Of course, if so, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. But now let's try to sign more players. We also do have some players that are coming back from their loan spells. And the first one is Jaden Sancho. He's 83 overall. Should we sell him? Should we keep him? Tell me in the comments what do we want to do with Jaden Sancho. And of course, with Mason Greenwood, he's 79 overall as a right midfielder. Maybe we can change his position to right wing and this will boost his overall a little bit. But do we want to see Mason Greenwood at Manchester United or should we sell him? Tell me that also in the comments. The other thing that we need to sort right now is gonna be the center back position. We do have Lisandro Martinez, who is the highest overall center back in our lineup. Rafael Varane is already 31 years of age and we do have Tudibu as their backup but you gave me some nice ideas of players that you want to see at Manchester United and the first of all of them is Matthias De Ligt. he's 85 overall 63 pace is not that great but he's so good man like he has so much potential also the other alternative was a Bremer from Juventus he's higher overall than Matthias De Ligt. he has much much more pace than him 85 pace but I still do believe that Matthias De Ligt is the better defender out of the two of them so that's why we're going for him here maybe 70 millions are gonna be enough for Matthias De Ligt oh they want 75 yeah I'm gonna accept that man 75 million for Matthias De Ligt is not that much in my opinion he wants only 96k per week Wow, this is super cheap, man. Of course, we're gonna accept it. And there it is. Matthias De Ligt is the second player that we're bringing to Manchester United. And with him and Jeremy Frimpong, we stabilize our defense massively. And we also improve our B team. But for the next episode, I'm gonna leave it to you. Tell me which right winger or left winger you want to see at Manchester United. You wanted so much Michael Olise, but is that the right guy for us? Tell me in the comments. We received two very interesting offers for Casemiro. The first one is from Napoli for 55.4 million. And to be honest with you, I'm thinking about accepting it. But look at the second one. 6 million plus Moises Caicedo. Are they out of their mind? The market value of Casemiro is 45 million and you're offering me player that is worth 30 an extra 6 million come on this cannot be a real offer from you chelsea of course we're gonna reject that but the napoli one i'm accepting it casimir wants to leave he's 32 years of age we do have so many midfielders and our future cdm is gonna be kobe mino whoa look what type of an offer we receive for rasmus hoyman from arsenal for 135 million Nah, man, you can forget about that. His market value is already over 100 million. What a talent we do have in our squad. We're not selling Rasmus. We changed the position of Mason Greenwood and Jaded Sancho, and they grew with one overall. And look at our current B team, man. We do have Georg Kobel, who, of course, is going to be in both teams. Diogo Dalot is now our right back there. To Dibu Varane and Luke Shaw are completing the defense. Kobe Minor is going to play so far in the both teams. We don't have his backup because we sold, of course, Casemiro. Neves and Amount are the two midfielders. Then Mason Greenwood and Jaden Sancho are gonna be our two wingers. And we do have Rasmus Hoywan who doesn't have a backup. So maybe in the next episode we can also buy a new striker that can replace Rasmus Hoywan in case he got injured. But look at the main squad. Now we added Jeremy Frimpong into it and of course Matthias De Ligt. I'm gonna miss Rafa Varane to be honest. We made some nice tackles but he's getting getting older man and Matthias De Ligt is just better than him and I also don't think that we need to change anyone in that starting 11 a team tell me in the comments what do you think about it but I think this team is good enough to win the Champions League but to test this lineup we're gonna play the Community Shield a final versus Manchester City and this is their lineup did they add someone 
No, only Hartman is their new guy, but they haven't signed anyone yet, which is a little bit weird in my opinion. So let's see what are we gonna do versus Manchester City at Wembley. Are we gonna start this season with a trophy? We suffered last time when we played Manchester City, especially at that stadium. Oh, but maybe now Rasmus. Rasmus Koivant! What a save from Ederson. Oh, Rasmus here now. Oh, oh what a ball. What a ball to Rafael Leao. Come on, Rafael Leao. Come on, Rafael Leao. This is easy for you, man. This is easy for for you Rafael Leao he's starting to shine for us and I'm super happy that we signed him for over 100 million in the previous season what a run here the ball from Rasmus was also really nice we also need to check how much our team is worth because I think we do have players that are worth over 1 billion oh huge chance here for Manchester City Jeremy Frimpong Come on, referee. He got the ball, I think, man. This was not a foul from him. Or maybe he didn't get the ball. I really hope that this is not going to be a penalty. So let's see. Did he not get the ball here? Oh, no, he did. Oh, I think this is going to be pen. Oh, no, it's not going to be a penalty. But when Kevin De Bruyne is behind the ball, it is like a penalty. What a save from Georg Kobel. This was really, really close. Come on, Rasmus. Come on, Rasmus, do something magical nice to Frankie de Jong, to Garnacho. One more. Bruno. Bruno Fernandes. What a save from Ederson. Rasmus Hoyland here. Rasmus, by the way, does have so much better stats than previously. Oh, what about to Garnacho? Alejandro Garnacho. He hit the post. Wow, this was so close. But we are playing so much better than Manchester City. We're creating more chances. We're really solid in our defense. And now look what Jeremy Doku is going to do. <laughs> Let's hope that he's not going to score here. No, no, man, here get passed by, but no, Georg Kobel, Georg Kobel is so good, he's one of the best goalkeepers currently in the world, huge chance here for Manchester City, and they're coming back, they are coming back, what a mistake again in our defense, and Julian, Auer, I think Julian Auer scored every single time when we played Manchester City here, like, look at it, how can you leave Kevin De Bruyne so wide open, he can do whatever he wants, and of course he's gonna deliver the perfect ball to Julian Alvarez mistake in our hand and we're suffering it Alejandro Garnacho does have the speed oh, 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 what a ball what a ball to Rafael Leao who is scoring his second goal in that community shield final and probably we're not gonna find out what is coming after the game and as a draw. What an assist from Garnacho here to Rafael Leao. No one saw that ball other than Garnacho. Look at Ederson, man. He was so confused what's happening. Come on, boy. There it is. Community Shield winners. What a nice beginning of the second season. Hopefully we're gonna end it with a Champions League trophy in our hands. We're receiving recently a lot of offers for Lisandro Martinez but I'm not gonna sell him man despite the fact that Liverpool are offering us nearly 90 million for him Lisandro Martinez is not for sale now it's time for the first game of the Premier League season let's see how the boys are gonna perform versus Brighton and we beat them 3-1 Rafael Leao scored Rasmus Hoyland and Frankie de Jong the champions of the previous year are back and they're more motivated than ever and the next game in the Premier League League is gonna be the battle of Manchester the first versus the second already in the second leg and this game is at Old Trafford so this is a huge one we need to beat Manchester City come on boys should beat them and we won the community shield a final versus them and I have big expectations from that game and especially when we're playing as a Premier League champion so let's see what is gonna happen oh Nice, that's why Lisandro Martinez is worth that much money. What a nice interception. And look at Rafael Leao. He looks so well in this Manchester United kit, man. What do you think? Is he gonna actually join Manchester United at some point of his career? I think he will, but tell me in the comments what do you think about it. Oh, Matthias De Ligt here made a huge mistake. And now maybe, maybe he's gonna score. No, he will not score. Wow, Erling Haaland missed one-on-one -on -one versus Georg Kobe. What a save from Kobe. If that was Onana, this was 100% a goal. Oh, but maybe now Haaland will gonna score for them. He didn't score, but he assisted to, I think this is a road. 
Good goal for Manchester City, man. We couldn't manage to stop them and Rodri took advantage of it. Now we need to come back if we want to win that game. But it's still super early. We do have a chance to come back. Oh, Matez Dili here got beaten. Oh, he didn't recover it. Oh, Kjord Kobel here. What a nice save. And we actually avoided the corner. Come on, boys. We need to score before the halftime. Otherwise, it's going to be super difficult for us to come back. Big chance here for Manchester City. What a ball. Julian Alvarez like every single time he's scoring for Manchester City. Wow, I don't think that there is a single game that Julian Alvarez haven't scored versus us. This is our nightmare. Oh, Bruno right now. Nice. What about to Rafael Leao here? Rafael Leao versus Ruben Dias. Come on, Rafael Leao. You should be faster. You should be better than Ruben Dias. Nice. <laughs> what a miss from Rasmus Hoyland. How you missed that, man? You were completely wide open. Wow, this is one of the miss of the season so far. But maybe now we can score. Frankie! There it is. We're back into the game. We deserve that goal. What a miss from Rasmus Hoyland. Honestly, I still cannot believe how he missed it. But what a strike here from Frankie de Jong. That's why he's the highest overall player in our team. Bernardo Silva here. Oh, wow. What an attack, man. What an attack from Manchester City. And they destroyed us at Old Trafford. 3-1 for them in the 73rd minute here. But look at our defense, man. It looked horrendous here. Let's see if at least our B team can beat Sheffield United. Ooh, it was a close one, but we defeated them 2-1. And now after three games, we do have six points. We're fourth in the Premier League, but with only one point less than the first Liverpool. But Manchester City haven't played their third game so far. But this is going to be the end of the video. Tell me in the comments which players you want to see at Manchester United. I do believe we do have a lot of money left to spend. Yeah, we do have, wow, we do have over 280 million to spend and to be honest with you i don't think that we need that many new players but i'm gonna be super interesting to see what do you think about the new signings i think in the b team we can start improving the team a little bit but the main squad is just looking super good in my opinion and we can win the treble with that team previously on the manchester united career mode we signed matthias de Ligt and jeremy Frimpong, and we improve our defense massively Look at how our team is looking right now. Giorcobo is our goalkeeper. He's 90 overall. Jeremy Frimpong, 86. Like, what a nice team we do have. And, of course, we're still using the three wonder kids that Manchester United are having. Rasmus Hoyland, he's 85 overall. Look at Alejandro Garnacho, 82. And, of course, Kobe Maino, our CDM. He's 74 overall with some nice stats. He already does have five-star weak foot five star skill moves what a player Kobe Mino is and in the previous episode I asked you what type of a right winger or left winger you want me to sign and improve our B team and you were pretty pretty much clear which player you want to see at Manchester United and this of course Michael Ulisse we're gonna sign him for sure we do have a lot of money and that's why I have no idea how much money should we offer Crystal Powers but I think something probably in the range of like 40 50 million is gonna be enough for Michael or Lisa. Let's try first with 45 million and let's see what are they gonna actually say. Come on, accept that. Oh, they want Jaden Sancho plus 8 million. Now, nah, I don't want to sell Jaden Sancho yet. Yes, let's try 48 million maybe. Okay, they agree on that. Let's go. There he is. Michael Ulisse is our new signing for this Manchester United career mode. I think with him, we completed both teams. We do have a really good first team and we added a nice player to our B team. So let's see how are we going to perform in the Premier League and of course in the Champions League this season. We started the episode with a draw versus Norwich, but now it's our time to redeem ourselves versus Chelsea at all. Trafford. Frankie de Jong right now. Nice. Rafael Leao. Rafael Leao. Rafael Leao. What a miss. Oh, Alejandro Garnacho here to Rafael Leao. Come on, Rafael Leao. Come on, Rafael Leao. You should score that. <laughs> oh, he missed it. How you missed that, man? Oh, Alejandro Garnacho right now. Garnacho. Come on, Alejandro Garnacho. Pass it. Pass it. 
One more, one more, Rasmus! There you go, in the 83rd minute, we're breaking Chelsea at Old Trafford. Rasmus Hoyland, our superstar. Let's go, boys. Come on! Wow, look at our Champions League group. We're with Red Bull Leipzig, Red Bull Salzburg and Monaco. We should finish first here without big of a problems. But let's see what are we gonna do versus Monaco at Old Trafford. Rasmus, Rasmus Hoyland here. Rasmus! What a beginning. Rasmus Hoyland. We actually are using our B team. Now I realize that. But so far it's not looking like a problem. Oh, Michael Olise right now. Come on, boys. Wow. Oh, look how much free space, by the way, we do have Michael Olise right now. Nice to Rasmus. Come on, come on, Jaden Sancho. What a ball, what a ball to Jaden Sancho. Jaden Sancho! 2-0. This is too easy, man. This is too easy versus Monaco. And this is ultimate difficulty. Wow. But can Monaco come back right now? This is going to be the question here. We need to stop them. We need to stop them. To Debo, to Debo here. Ooh, he missed the tackle. What a goal for Monaco. What a goal for Monaco. Georg Kobel managed to save it, but then the rebound. But Tudibu here made a huge mistake by letting Monaco even have that chance. Ah, come on, boys. We need to defend better than that. Jaden Sancho right now. Come on, Jaden Sancho. What should we do? Let's try from there on Jaden Sancho. Oh, 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 oh. What a goal. What a goal from Jaden Sancho. Watch that Eric Ten Hag and say one more time that Jaden Sancho is not good. He's awesome. 3-1 win versus Monaco. What a nice beginning of our Champions League run. Come on, boys. Of course, if you enjoyed that Manchester United career mode, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is going to be much appreciated. We continue our amazing run in the Premier League with a win versus Bournemouth and then we defeat it Arsenal 1-0 at Old Trafford but now it's the away game versus Red Bull Leipzig in the Champions League and this is a huge one we're using again our B team of players but they're so good man Rasmus how you missed that man oh, Joao Neves organized something Michael Olise right now oh let's give it to Rasmus let's give it to Rasmus Hoyvan he does have the speed he does have everything Rasmus what a borrow what a borrow Rasmus how you miss that man 0-0 versus Red Bull Leipzig is not a bad result in my opinion but I expect it from us to defeat them we continue performing really well in the Premier League except the last game versus West Ham where they defeat us but after 12 games we're first with 25 points two more than the second Manchester City but we can see it only 12 goals which is probably the fourth best defense in the league or even fifth wow so many teams can see it only 12 12 goals. Aston Villa is the best defensive team in the league, which is a little bit weird in my opinion. But we're performing really well, and these boys are developing super nice. Rasmus Hoyland is now 87 overall. Wow, what a player. Let's just look how many goals this guy does have. I think he scored a lot. Wow, he scored already 11 goals and assisted two times. Look at Rafael Leao. Nine goals, one assist. Jaden Sancho is performing really well. He's carrying the second team in my opinion yes he scored two very important goals in the champions league Alejandro Garnacho a little bit disappointed man like only two goals and only one assist is definitely not the performance that we expect from him but come on man this is Alejandro Garnacho our wonder kid. In Champions League we also perform really well versus Red Bull Leipzig and now after four games we do have 10 points five more than Red Bull Leipzig and I think it's pretty clear that we're gonna finish first in our group but of course we're gonna find out what we're gonna do versus Red Bull Leipzig and versus versus Monaco but now let's try to defeat Liverpool at Old Trafford oh, Frankie Dion what a ball to Rafael Leao what a ball to Rafael Leao come on Rafael Leao you should score that man you should score that Rafael Leao what a beginning to that game versus Liverpool but the ball from Frankie Dion to Rafael Leao was world class oh, Frankie delivered the perfect ball here deliver the perfect ball Ooh, Trent I think was there too cover it but let's now see come on come on what a ball what a ball Rafael Leao what a save come on wow wow Allison is saving currently everything for Liverpool Luke Shaw here versus Mo Salah come on Luke Shaw come on Luke Shaw nice Mo Salah messed it up and Luke Shaw what a nice positioning from him come on my boy 
Can we organize also here a dangerous counter-attack? This is gonna be awesome to Rasmus, to Rasmus. Ooh, Rasmus Cohen versus Virgil van Dijk. Ooh, ooh, look at Frankie. Come on, Frankie de Jong. You should score that. Frankie de Jong, 2-0 for us versus Liverpool. Game over. Come on. Now the game versus Red Bull Leipzig. I think here a draw is gonna be enough for us to secure the first place in our group. And this is super important. We need to finish first to have an easier opponent in the knockout rounds. Ooh, Openda versus Lissandro Martinez, he messed it up, but wow, Lissandro Martinez, what a nice interception, my boy. And this is actually how the game ended, guys, 0-0, but this was exactly what we needed to finish first in our group. Let's go. So let's find our opponent for the round of 16, please, just don't be a tough one. Ooh, it is AC Milan. Okay, this is definitely a bit of an opponent. Let's see Red Bull Leipzig. Look, they're gonna face Barcelona, like Milan is definitely an easier draw than Barcelona and Rafael Leao is gonna face his former team this is gonna be two epic games versus them in the meantime in the Premier League we continue performing really well and after 20 games we're still first and now we do have four point lead to the second Manchester City our next game is gonna be versus Arsenal at Emirates Stadium currently they are third and this is gonna be an epic battle versus versus them but these boys man they're so good like look at the team that we do have Rasmus Hoyland is now 88 overall Garnacho 84 our defense is so good Kobel is one of the best goalkeepers currently in the world he does have also five star weak foot like what a stats does he have and then also look at Frankie de Jong, man. I think, no, he's joined highest overall with Rafa Leao. He also does have five star skill moves, five star with 85 pace. What a monster we create with Frankie de Jong. But now we're in January and we can buy whoever we want to still improve that team. And look at the B team. We don't have a backup striker for Rasmus Hoyland. And if he gets injured, then we do have some big, big problems. So that's why suggest me in the comments a striker that you want to see at Manchester United. I'm thinking about Bonifake from Bar Leverkusen, but tell me in the comments what do you think about it. Now, it's the final game of today's episode, the Barrow versus Arsenal at Emirates Stadium. This is gonna be a huge one, guys. If we win here, we're making a statement that we're ready to defend our Premier League title. Rafa Leao here versus Julian Timber. Come on, Rafael Leao. Wow, Rafael Leao, what a skill move here. Come on to Frankie. Frankie de Jong, Frankie de Jong. Ooh, what a save from Aaron Ramsdale. Sandro Martinez right now to Rafael Leao. Come on, Rafael Leao. Do something magical, Rafael Leao. Ooh, what a ball control. What a ball control to Rasmus. Ah, William Saliba. One of the best center backs currently in the world. Oh, Jeremy Frimpong right now to Garnacho. What a ball. What a ball to Alejandro Garnacho. Come on, Garnacho. To Rasmus. Rasmus Hoyland from there on. Rasmus! Another save from Aaron Ramsdale. Wow, Ramsdale is so good, man. But we're gonna break them for sure. Oh, Gabriel Martinelli for Arsenal here. Nice, Matthias de Lee. <laughs> what a nice interception. Wow, we do have so many good players. And now maybe this is our chance. Maybe this is now our chance. Rasmus Hoyman. <laughs> How do you miss that, man? What a nice save from Aaron Ramsdale. He's having such a nice game so far for them, to be honest with you. Rasmus, come on, Rasmus. Come on, Rasmus, you should score now. Rasmus Hoyman! There you go, there you go. Now we cannot miss for the second consecutive time versus Ramsdale one-on-one. -on -one. Let's go, Rasmus. And we're leading in that very, very crucial game for our Premier League season. What a strike, man. Rasmus Hoyman, such a superstar. Oh, Jeremy Frimpong here, what a nice interception, what a mistake from William Saliba, Jeremy Frimpong, Frimpong, there you go, there you go, Jeremy Frimpong, what a mistake from Saliba, and this is ultimate difficult, like, how these players are making this type of silly mistakes, but of course we're gonna take advantage of it. Let's go! We're gonna win versus Arsenal! And with 17 remaining games, we do have 4-point lead to Manchester City. 
we should be the favorites to win the Premier League. But for that season, the aim is the Champions League. So the Premier League is in the background. Rasmus Hoyland is having such a nice season. 16 goals and 3 assists. But look at also Rafael Leao, man. 15 goals and 1 assist. It's a brilliant second season at Manchester United. So tell me in the comments which backup striker of Rasmus you want to see at Manchester United. And next episode, we're gonna try to sign him. But now I'm out and I wish you a great day. Bye bye. Previously on the Manchester United career mode, we finally signed Michael Orlise and we start to destroy some big teams on ultimate difficulty. We destroyed Arsenal. We finished also first in our Champions League group. And look at us after 21 games. We're first in the Premier League with four points more than Manchester City. The battle for the first place is so tight. But look at us also in the Champions League. League. In the round of 16, we're gonna face AC Milan. Rafael Leao is gonna face his former team. And these two games are gonna be epic. This is how our main squad is looking. And we built a sensational squad thanks to your help. Rasmus Hoywan, the star of this takeover. He's 88 overall. But look at also our second team. And here we do have also some nice players. Mason Mount 83, Michael Ulisse 82. Look at also to Debo man he's now 82 overall but for that second team we're missing a striker and in the previous episode I asked you about suggestions and of course players that you want to see at Manchester United and you gave me some nice ideas but the player that I really want to sign is retiring by the end of the season. We cannot bring Cristiano Ronaldo back to Manchester United. And this is super sad. So that's why we're going for Victor Bonifaki from Bar Leverkusen. I think he's going to be an amazing backup of Rasmus Hoiber for the remaining of the season. So we're going to offer 60 million Xabi Alonso for Bonifac. They want Michael Ulisse plus 30 million. Are they out of their mind? I'm not going to give them Michael Ulisse. I can give them 62 maybe. Let's see. What are you going to say, Bar Leverkusen? They agree straight away. Let's go. Wants a little bit over 100k per week as a wage. But come on. He's going to be the backup of Rasmus Hoy. When we do have so much money, of course, we're going to give them over 100k per week. And Bonifac scored straight away versus Crystal Powers and we beat them 3-1. Then we defeated Aston Villa 3-1. And then Bonifaki scored again versus a Bournemouth and we beat them also 2-1. And now look at us in the Premier League. We do have 10 points lead to the second Manchester City. This is an incredible gap that we managed to create versus them. And from now on, we should be the favorites to win the Premier League. But now let's focus into the Champions League and into the first leg versus AC Milan. Huge game at San Siro. Rafael Leao versus his former team. Come on, boys. And of course, if you enjoyed this Manchester United career mode, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. But now let's destroy AC Milan. Oh, Rasmus right now. Come on, Rasmus Hoywant. Rasmus Hoywant here. Give it to... Oh, Rafael Leao from there. Rafael Leao! There you go. There you go. Don't celebrate against your former club, man. What a strike from Rafael Leao to give us here the lead versus a Milan. Oh, AC Milan here with a chance. Nice. <laughs> nice block from Lisandro Martinez, but the attack is not over yet. Come on, Kobe Mino. Come on, Kobe Mino. You need to stop them, Kobe Mino. Don't let them cross. Oh, huge mistake. Huge mistake from our part. Come on, come on. Someone needs to stop them. Someone needs to stop them here. No, no, man. Stop them. Let's go. Mason Mount for our team. Come on, Mason Mount. Oh, Mason Mount here. Mason Mount. There you go. <laughs> what a strike from Mason Mount. And now we're leading 2-0 versus Milan in the knockout rounds of the Champions League. We're with the one leg in the quarterfinals. Come on, boy. Oh, maybe last chance here for AC Milan here to stop us. Come on, Jeremy Frimpong. Come on, Jeremy Frimpong. Oh, he missed the tackle here. Oh, oh, they got us here big time. Kobel, he couldn't manage to save it. And the game is still not won yet. Oh, they do have Luis Diaz. Okay, what an interesting signing. 
So they brought one back. Let's see what's gonna happen in the second leg. A draw is gonna be enough for us, but they prefer to score very early and not give any single chance of AC Milan thinking that they can knock us out. In the 43rd minute, we received a penalty and this is our chance right now. Come on, Bruno. Come on, Bruno. Come on, Bruno Fernandes. There you go. This is the goal that we needed. And now Milan need two goals to even put the game on extra time and we're not gonna allow them that. And we didn't allow them anything we eliminated ac milan 3-1 on aggregate come on boys let's now find out who our opponent in the next round is going to be oh we're gonna face psv we should destroy them man how the hell psv are in the quarterfinals who they eliminate let's find oh they eliminated bar munchen our nightmare from the previous season let's go this is definitely a jackpot of an opponent to draw in the quarterfinals in the premier league we continue destroying our opponents and after 29 games we do have eight points more than the second manchester city but we play two less games than them so we're definitely the favorites to win the premier league very very soon but now it's game time the first leg versus psv cowboys let's just destroy them already in the first leg and make the second one just a practice game for us kobe minor right now oh give it to Ra oh what about to rafael leo come on boys come on rafael leo come on rafael leo should we cross to rasmus yeah let's give it to rasmus there you go there you go it's just too easy man we're currently destroying everyone on our way come on but we need to score more alejandro garnacho right now come on, boys we need to score a second alejandro garnacho here to rasmus i think he's in offside or oh no he's not in offside oh rasmus hoyland here rasmus rasmus game over game over 2-0 for us versus psv we're just enjoying playing football right now man the team is so good we beat them 2-0 in the first leg of the quarterfinals the second leg should be an easy one for us oh, alejandro garnacho here oh give it to rasmus give it to no man this was meant for rasmus hoywa but now this is for rasmus there you go we scored the goal that we need and now we're leading 3-0 on aggregate there is no way that psv are gonna come back in that game oh come on matthias the lead <laughs> let's go 2-0 matthias the league is back in netherlands and he's continue scoring goals versus psv let's go to the semis oh and in the semi-final we're gonna face real madrid now this is gonna be super difficult opponent to beat but look at us at least in the premier league where first with nine point lead to the second manchester city they can earn only 12 more points and if we beat sheffield united in the next game we're winning the premier league so basically we're back to back premier league champions but not only that we're also in the final of the fa cup and there we're gonna face a new castle but look at our road here we eliminate brighton on penalties this was a difficult game man here we eliminate bornemun to one not that difficult opponent everton also not that difficult in my opinion who we defeated in the fourth round cardiff also an easy opponent and then middles bro we eliminate in the first round of that competition so we didn't face any single good opponent in my opinion and now in the final it's gonna be newcastle we should defeat them man we are fighting to win the treble already in the second season of this manchester united career mode if that doesn't deserve a like what does and we defeated sheffield united 2-1 and we won the premier league for the second consecutive time but now it's time for the games versus real madrid and this is their squad they added Vic Victor Ossiman instead of Kylian Mbappe this is a little bit a weird one they also signed Arnau as their new right back and Udoje as a new left back oh it's gonna be difficult versus them but I still do believe we do have a chance oh huge chance here for Real Madrid come on Matthias the lead wow Georg Kobel what a save Rasmus Kovant from there on Rasmus wow <laughs> Rasmus Hoyman, we created a superstar at Manchester United. I think he's already 89 overall after just two seasons. Can Bruno score that free kick? Oh, this is gonna be awesome if he can pull that on. Come on, Bruno! 
what a bad free kick from Bruno. Rodrigo versus Matez de Lee. Rodrigo is much faster than Matez de Lee. And Rodrigo is scoring. I knew it is gonna be difficult versus Real Madrid. Ah, Matez de Lee is a little bit slow in my opinion. This is his biggest issue and this is how the game ended. 1-1. So everything is gonna decide in the second leg at Old Trafford. Ooh, Vini Jr. right now. This is dangerous. This is super dangerous. Vini Jr. But Lisandro Martinez. What a nice interception. And now maybe we can catch them on the counter-attack here. Garnacho. Alejandro Garnacho. Give it to Rasmus. Come on, Rasmus. Oh, what a ball from... Ah, the touch. The second touch was a little bit too strong ooh, 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 what a chance what a chance let's go let's go what a goal from Rasmus Hoywan, but the cross was the cherry of the cake. And of course, the pass from Rafa Leao. Let's go, boys. We are now leading at Old Trafford. And we also received a penalty at Old Trafford. Bruno Ferran versus Courtois. Come on, Bruno. There you go. We're going to the final of the Champions League, boys and girls. Let's go, man. We're going to bring Manchester United to the top of the world. And there, we're going to face Manchester City. Wow, well, this is gonna be one game for the history book. The derby of Manchester is gonna decide who is gonna leave the Champions League. I really hope that this is gonna be us. But with the team that we created, we should go out there as a favorite. Look at the team, man. Rafael Leao, 92 overall. Rasmus Hoywan, 89 overall. He already does have 93 pace, 89 feet. Physical, five star skill moves, five star weak foot. This guy is such a monster. Garnacho 86. I expect for him to go to maybe 88, 89, something like that. But 86 is still not that bad. Look at Kobe Mino, man. 77 overall. What a superstar Kobe Mino is turning to be. Our defenders, both of them 88. Your Kobe 91 overall. Wow. War team. Rasmus is the top goal scorer with 25 goals and 6 assists. But look at also Rafael Leao. 24 goals, 5 assists. Brilliant second season. Garnacho grew to 86 and this is 5 overall more than the previous season. But he scored only 9 goals and assisted only 6 times. I expect a little bit more from him. But maybe versus Newcastle he is gonna shine for us and deliver the FA Cup. Frankie de Jong right now. Nice. Good one here from Rasmus. Oh to Garnacho. Oh to Garnacho. Come on Alejandro Garnacho. Come on Alejandro Garnacho. I told you that maybe he's gonna shine for us in the FA Cup final. And our star boy is delivering for us in the big moments. Our new number seven, Alejandro Garnacho. Come on, Alejandro Garnacho. To Frankie. Oh, what about Frankie de Jong? There you go. Wow, it's super easy, man. Like, how the hell that is ultimate difficulty? We cannot be stopped at all by the AI. Oh, Alexander Isak here. What a save from Kobel. Wow. This was the best chance that Newcastle received so far. But Kobel was on another level. One more time. Can we catch them right now on the counter-attack? This is going to be incredible. Look how much faster Rasmus Hoewant is to Garnacho. I think I don't think he's in offside. He's not in offside. Alejandro Garnacho. Just give us the title, EA. After 25 minutes we scored three goals versus Newcastle in the FA Cup final we destroyed them at the end of the day so far it's seven new maybe eight oh Garnacho missed it we defeated Newcastle seven new in the FA Cup final what a humiliation versus them man they don't deserve that much goals wow this is incredible and we secured the double we won the FA Cup. Now the biggest aim of this career mode series was to win the Champions League with Manchester United. And we can even win the treble, man. Already in the second season. This is crazy. So let's just jump into the game versus Manchester City and hopefully complete this takeover. The Champions League final. The last game of the season versus our rivals, Manchester City. Rasmus Hoywan needs to lead us to the treble, man. Come on, boys. We can definitely win that game. Oh, Frankie right now to Garnacho, to Alejandro Garnacho, come on Garnacho, oh look at Rafael Leao, ah we pass him too early, 
Wow! What a save from Ederson! This was so close to be the first goal of that game. Wow! Erling Haaland versus Matthias De Ligt here. They got us big time, Matthias De Ligt! No, 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 come on, man! Come on, Georg Kobel! How he... Oh, no, Julian Alvarez is playing, man. Of course he is playing. And of course he is scoring versus us. Ah! I really hate Julian Alvarez, man. He's so good versus us. How Kobel here couldn't manage to save it better? Ah, and of course, Julian Alvarez is gonna score. Now, we need to come back. Oh, no, no, Mensch right now. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, what a ball. What a ball to Rasmus, but he's not gonna get them, I think. Oh, what a mistake! What a mistake, Rasmus! Come on, man. Come on, Rasmus Hoyland. What a mistake from Joshko Guardio, but then Rasmus Hoyland missed a clear goal here. Oh, another mistake from Manchester City. This time, this time, we're not gonna miss Rasmus Hoyland and we're back into the game. But what's happening with Manchester City defense, man? Like, they're making so many stupid mistakes. Oh, few Foden right now. Nice, nice. Lisandro Martinez. What a positioning from our center back. And now, maybe now we can catch them finally on a counter-attack. Look how many people we do have. Nuno Mensch, Nuno Mensch, Nuno Mensch. There you go. Wow, look how many people we had versus them in their half, man. This was crazy. I have no idea what Nuno Mensch did there, but I'm super grateful that he was there. Like, look at it. We do have four people that are attacking the Manchester City half. Wow, Nuno Mensch, let's go. Wow, Manchester City are pushing us so much, guys. Come on, now it's our time to score the third and basically win the Champions League for Manchester United. Rafa Leao here to Frankie. Frankie de Jong! There you go! There you go! This is the goal that we needed. And with that goal, we cannot borrow the treble. We just need to hold 15 in-game minutes versus Manchester City. And we're completing it. Come on, boys. We can hold. We're playing so well defensively. Manchester City cannot organize a single attack since we scored. This is crazy, man. Like, look how good we're playing defensively. They are not just able to pass forwards, which is crazy. And the time is just going past by. And this worked perfect for us, man. Like, even if they score right now, doesn't matter. They cannot score two goals. They cannot score two goals. And they couldn't even manage to score a second one. Let's go. We're gonna win the Champions League with Manchester United. What a career mode journey with Manchester United. We managed to win the treble in the second season. And we signed some incredible players thanks to your suggestions. So I really hope you enjoyed enjoyed this career mode series of course if so leave a like subscribe to my youtube channel but now i'm out and i wish you a great day bye bye